welcome to Showtime Philadelphia, the show that brings you the people, the places, the events, and the truth. My name is Michael Rice, aka The Connector, and I'm going to be your host for a show that I hope will be enlightening, entertaining, and inspirational. Showtime Philadelphia is going to center on building your leadership skills and teach you how to appropriately and successfully navigate the game called life. So we're going to be talking about, specifically we're going to be talking about how to build successful relationships, how to acquire allies, how to move people from being acquaintances to being advocates for you, and how to work together with others and create successful outcomes. But the first thing, and I think I talked about in the last episode um, of Showtime Philly, is you have to acquire something that a lot of people, they call it um, in a game. Some people call it mindset. Some people call it attitude. Actually, it's a combination of, of all three. Um, you have to know who you are and where, you're, where you are. You have to know what assets you bring to the table so that you can share them with other people. And this is all aspects of something what I call urban networking. Urban networking? Well, urban networking is the aggressive establishment of mutually beneficial relationship focusing on the exchange of product services ideas and resources not only physical but fiscal it's not about what you can get from other people it's about what you bring to the table when you bring something to the table and you consider the table then you create a dynamic one of the laws of the universe, you're the law of attraction. These are laws of obligation and reciprocity that happens among people. And we're going to be talking about the little and social triggers that um, control our behaviors and control other people's behaviors. So you're going to learn all that in the episodes. But today I'm going to center on mindset. And the question that I ask today is Are you a player? And no, I'm not talking about somebody that takes advantage of people, that has a lot of relationships and doesn't care about people. When I say player, I'm talking about a player in the game of life. In my last um, show, Showtime Philly, we talked about the three types of people. The kind of people that make things happen, the kind of people that watch things happen, and the kind of people that wonder what the heck happened. Right? And I asked the question, what kind of person are you? Where do you fit into it? And over my years of experience in doing this, um, and I've been doing networking or urban networking for almost 30 years. Yes, I know I look young for my age. <laughs> but in those years of, of experience, I've learned to kind of, um, you know, really understand that principles about the three types of people. And I actually break them down to players, spectators, and wanderers or wanderers. Um, and so let me let me give that to you. The first type of person is the wanderer or wanderer. And I say wandering because they're wandering through life because they don't realize that there's a game going on. And a good example is um, here in, um, this is being um, taped in Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. And one of the highlights of um, Philadelphia is, is Citizen Bank Park and our Wascovia um, Center. We have a lot of concerts and the Phillies play and um, um, you know we have a lot of uh, fans that are coming out for those events and uh, the Wanderer is a person who's driving by one of these stadiums and seeing all these people outside and wondering what's going on. They don't realize there's a game going on. And for those of you who are going through life with your blinders on without realizing there is a game going on 
you know, the wanderers wander through life and they wonder. They wonder how that person got the job, how they got the opportunity, how they got that man or who they got that woman. They wonder how they got the promotion, how they got the award, how they got the funding, how they got the contract, how. I wonder how. I wonder, wonder, wonder. And they wander and wander through life. Now the second person is spectators. And as you can imagine, the spectators is they know there's a game going on and they're watching the game. Yeah, they're sitting and watching the game, right? And what they're doing is not taking action, right? The spectators are in the stands. They are watching things going on and, and often I, um, I compare, I say spectators are often also haters, right? Yeah, they got their PH, PH, uh, PhDs, or it was a player hating degree. <laughs> and, the, and the reason being is, is a lot of times because they are watching everything, they're commenting on things. But the one thing they're not doing, a spectator is doing, is not doing, and that is they are not taking action. They are sitting on their behinds. They watch TV while they watch actors make hundreds of thousands of dollars while they're wondering how they're going to pay their bills. They're watching other people go out and do things while they merely sit. Now the difference between a spectator and a player is, is one, taking action. The players are on the field. They're playing. They're hitting the home runs. They're catching the touchdowns. They are winning Super Bowls. They are winning the game of life, right? And they are competitive in the game of life because you don't win every day. Well, actually, you do. In the game of life, if you wake up in the morning and you're able to get out of bed, that one little action, that's a winning action. And if you're able to go into this world and be competitive and be professional and be thorough and competent and be confident and that you are adding value to not only your life but the life of your family and your community, you are successful regardless of how much money that you're making. Because money is not a measure of success. Let me tell you one thing. And then you can, and then those of you that watch the news and watch these things, you see highly successful people not able to handle the game of life. They're taking drugs. Most successful people that you know, celebrities you know, people that had unlimited potential. Think about it: drug overdoses, prescription and illicit drugs, right? Doing crazy stuff, going to jail constantly going through life's changes they can't they don't know how to handle the game of life but the real players the real players they are practicing they are studying they are watching tapes like these they are reading books they are interacting with people to learn how to be more successful right the players out there and, and let me tell you something about players Ryan Howard Hitter, you know, amazing home run slinger for the Phillies. He practices. The astronauts practice for five years before they go into space. When they finally go into space, they know what to do because they practice. The basketball players, Le LeBron James, practices, goes to practice. Did you know that Michael Jordan was cut from his high school team, but he practiced and practiced and became one of the leading, the leading, one of his quintessence of a basketball player because he practiced and he prepared himself. So that's what players do. So you got it. You got the wanderers, you got the spectators, and you got the players. Now ask yourself, which one are you? And then, um, in conclusion, let me let me just leave you with this. And this is a poem I wrote some time ago, but I think it, it still applies. Now, when I say player, I don't mean play the games you use yesterday. All those games become passe to a player. What I mean is control your world. Let your style. Be your sword because living well.
has its own reward to a player. Play on. And this is Michael Rice, aka your connector. Oh, and let me say just one, let me just add one thing in. You want more information about the content of this program and about professional networking associates, go to www.theconnectednetwork.com. Uh, make sure you go to our links page. When you find out all the activities in Philadelphia and surrounding tri-state areas, come to our events. Learn, meet, interact, collaborate, communicate. And like I said, this is Michael Rice, AKA -A The Connector, saying to you, keep connecting. Because I'm building a network one relationship at a time. See ya. Uh -huh.